Howdy and welcome. My name is Kevin and we're at part, uh, let's say nine, I guess, 10. I don't know. We're getting along there. We've done a whole bunch of videos and we got a lot more to go. We've just started looking at CSS. We added some colors to our page. Now things are finally starting to get more interesting. In this video, we're going to start looking at external CSS, which really just, you know, blows the walls off of what we just looked at in the last video. So let's jump into it and start doing that. All right, guys, so for this video, what we want to be doing is uh, moving all of our CSS to an external style sheet. So what I'm going to do to start with is I'm going to delete uh, all these inline styles that I have. So these are there. Uh, I have another color one here. Let's save that and refresh. Oh, what happened to my H1? Whoops. Didn't mean to take off the whole tag. Save that. My first website. There we go. Okay, so we're back to this. And what I want to do now is I want to make a new file. So I'm going to do Command N and I'm going to uh, save it. So I'm making a CSS file. So I'm going to put this in my CSS folder that we created a while back and I'm going to call it style.css and hit save. So now that I've saved my file, I'm going to come back to my index.html and I'm going to go up to my head. And in my head, I'm going to add in a link. I'm going to tell it that this link is going to a style sheet. And I'm going to get an href. So my age hypertext reference is equal to CSS folder. And in my CSS folder, I have my style style.css. Save. And uh, that means I'm linking over to this file. So the rel is uh, short for relationship. So it's, you know, the relationship of this to this, this is the style sheet for my HTML document. So I'm going to jump over to my style sheet now. And what I'm going to do is I want to select my body tag. So now we used to, before we used to, yes, in the last video, so for long ago, we'd write style is equal to, and I would apply my styles directly in here. We're obviously not doing that anymore. We're in another file. So I have to be able to select my body tag. So to be able to select my body tag, I'm just going to write body like that. There's no greater than or less than symbols or the triangle brackets aren't there. I'm just putting body like this. And what that is, this is my selector. I'm selecting body. And then I'm going to do an open and close uh, curly braces. So in HTML, we're using the greater than and less than symbols of so the triangle brackets. And I'm using these curly brackets uh, in my CSS. So I'm se I've selected my body tag. And then in here, I'm going to write the CSS similar to how I wrote it when I was doing those inline styles before. So let's choose our background color. And you can see now it's actually uh, Adam here is auto filling for me. And if you're using another code editor to probably be doing the same thing. And so it's showing me all of the different options I have for background. And let's put in uh, my black like I did last time, zero, 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 and save. And I'm gonna hit refresh. And well, we can't see the text. So let's change the color to white. And I'll save that and refresh. So right away, you might be able to see one of the nice things about this is the formatting makes it a little bit easier to read. When we were adding them all in as an inline style, so let's do it again, style is equal to background color, whoops, background color, black, color white, font size, 21 pixels, it starts, you know, if I have to find my font size or my color after, it can be a little hard. You're sort of reading around a little bit. The way I'm going to style it here is each one is going to get its own line. I don't have to style it this way. The extra space is just for me. I could do that and I could come here and do font size 21 pixels. Um, Adam's doing a better job of color coding it here than it is over here where it's all the same color. We won't be using that. Um, so maybe it's a little easier, but after each line, I'm just going to push return on my keyboard. I'm going to put each property on its own line. And that way it just makes it a lot easier for me to go through and read it and make changes to it as I go. This is the standard way you're going to see it on other websites. We're also going to be doing other things. We're going to be looking at the code in the browser and this is how you're going to be looking at it. 
So we select something, open our curly brace, close our curly brace, and each one of each property gets its own line and then gets its own value. And very important, at the end of each line, we put our semicolon to end that rule. Even though they're each going on their own line, if I forgot to put that semicolon, it would be the same thing as writing this. So my color, white font size. Just like in the last video, that doesn't make any sense. So we need to end that property and then start the next one. I'm going to save my file. Our font size should get a bit bigger. Now that's all fine and dandy, but we could have done that with our inline style. We, we'd already done this in our with an inline style in our last video. But one thing, uh, right away, a nice power of having this external style sheet is uh, if I'm working on my internal, so my inline, say I wanted to make this orange like we did last time. Uh, I think it was FF3300. Oh, and I forgot the hashtag at the start. Save. Oh, I'm being silly. Color. There we go. Oh, I made it red. That's okay. So I have a nice uh, red paragraph there. But now if I want the next paragraph red, well, now I have to you know, copy that, paste it here, save. Okay. Oh, well, I have another paragraph and another paragraph. And, you know, you might have 100 paragraphs on your website. So you don't want to have to be doing this on each one. And then, my goodness, what if you decide to change the color? Oh, that would suck. So let's just get rid of this and uh, just like before I selected my body tag just by writing body there what I can come and do is I can put a P so I'm selecting my paragraph tags and let's do color let's see if we can get orange this time uh, it's a mean FF try to CC and refresh yeah, pretty close to orange um, and well, look at that. All three paragraphs changed at the same time. This is selecting all of my paragraphs and changing all of my paragraphs. Isn't that fantastic? And right away makes my life so much easier. If ever I need to change this, you know what? Maybe we'd prefer red. I put that over, I make that one change and all of my paragraphs all change at the same time. It's awesome. I'm gonna put this back because it's easier to read when it's a brighter color. There we go. Uh, let's come and do our font size too, just for fun. Um, oh, we don't need to do font size. We already made that bigger. Uh, I have my H1 up here, so I can do that too. I'll come here and do H1. Oops, H1. Let's do a font size, oops, font size of 70 pixels to make it nice and big and color of pink. And there we go. So I can always select a tag just by writing out the tag here with no triangle brackets. So I'm, this is my selector. I'm selecting this. I'm selecting my paragraph. I'm putting the curly braces and then I can go through and put my properties and change the properties to whatever I want them to by putting the value right there. Remember, always end each line with your semicolon. This is something that people forget sometimes so, and it's an easy thing to miss it stops working. So if you're wondering what's not going, look for that first of all. Check your spelling. Spelling is often a thing that goes wrong. Uh, if you're changing certain things like pixel values, don't put a space here because that will also break them. Uh, so my color is still working, but the font size isn't. Same here. Everything else is working. It just doesn't know what this is. So I'm going to put that all together on the same line. Save, refresh to get it back to how it was. So right away, you should be able to see that I can go much faster by using external style sheet just because I can select lots of things at the same time. I can select all three paragraphs. Uh, we're going to see later on there's other things that we're going to be wanting to do that for. Uh, it's much easier to look at our style sheet and see what we're changing so we can easily, more easily, come in and make changes and quickly see, okay, there's my color or there's my font size or my background color. And we're gonna see there's lots and lots of properties. So these can get quite long and it just makes it so much easier to read our own CSS than when we're using inline styles. Another thing that's really, really nice about an external style sheet is, well, I have a page two. So let's go over to my page two and right now it doesn't have any of the same styles. And generally all your pages are gonna pretty much look more or less the same. So all I need to do is come and I need to put this same link 
on my page too. So let's try that out. And we'll do it all again the long way. So I'm going to put my triangle brackets and write link rel is equal to style sheet. Put a space href is equal to CSS folder style.css. I'm going to save that, hit refresh, and wow, look at that. They both have the exact same styles. Pretty awesome if you ask me. Uh, this also means that if I come to my style sheet, and let's say we don't really like this black background, you're sort of sick of it. We want to come in and change this to be, uh, let's go with a blue background, zero, zero. Let's go with like a CCFF. I think that will be blue. And there we go. And well, I don't really like that font color anymore. Let's try and make that a dark blue. See if I can figure that one out. Zero, zero. That's right, FFFF. -F -F -F. See what happens. Oh, that's a bright blue. Uh, actually, it's just right blue. It's not going to be pretty, but we'll be able to see our text. And I don't like that pink title anymore. I want it to be red. Uh, well, I made all those changes. This page is looking good, but what about my home page? Whoa, look at that. My home page changed all at the same time. So external, sh so you can see external style sheets are super powerful. They let us make really fast changes across our whole page really, really quickly. Uh, and not across our whole page, but across all of our pages very fast. So I really, really recommend you use your external style sheets. They're also sort of standard across the web because they're awesome compared to all of our other options. Uh, so I recommend that you get used to them. Now, one thing you don't want to be doing is mixing up internal and external. So, uh, or inline, I should say. So let's just say I came here and I actually want this paragraph to be different. So I could come in and do style is equal to color black. Save that. And well, now I have a black paragraph and my other ones are blue. And maybe that's what you want. Eh. We're going to look at another better way of doing this. One of the problems with doing it this way is I'm going to, you know, you save your site, you come back a few weeks later, and then you're going, okay, wh why is this paragraph black? And you're looking at your CSS, and your CSS file is probably going to be much bigger than this because you're going to have a really nice website by then. And you just can't figure out how you made that black, and you're, you're sort of pulling your hair out, and then eventually you go, oh, wait a second. And then you come back, and you're looking at your HTML, and you see this, and you start swearing at yourself because it took you so long to figure out. If you start putting styles in a whole bunch of different places, there's no way you're going to remember where they are. It just makes maintenance of your site really, really hard. So we don't do that. All of our styles stay here. So this is going to control the look of our website. It's the colors, the fonts, the layout of the website, and the HTML is the content of our website. And they're two separate things, and we want to keep them as separate as possible. So that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. Uh, I hope you've picked a better color scheme than what I've come up with so far if you're following along. I'm super glad that you've made it this far. If you have any questions or if you just want to say hi, make sure you go down to the comments and do that right now. Like the page if you like the video and next video we're going to be looking at divs and spans so we can actually start manipulating our layout a little bit. See you then.